Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7, where, um, luckily, I've discovered that um, I have one thing that I don't need to be worried about, and that is getting first in every single race, because I have 4,000 points, maximum points, to get out of the next two sets. And not getting first in the previous set for every race only lost me a potential 25 points. So that would put me at like 7,125, which is still passing. So I will go with that. But let's take a look at what I'm gonna actually race. Uh, let's avoid the open one. Um, there's a Grand Prix, which kind of could be interesting. This is, honestly, if there's anything I've learned playing this game, the hot hatch is probably closer to my speed, <laughs> to be honest. Um, early prototype racer sounds fun. Grand Prix sounds fun. Let's, let's go with the hot hatch, though, because I do kind of suck. Here's where it all started for the hot hatch. The Golf, Fiesta, and Civic showed the public you could have a lot of fun in a small package strap in one of the first hatchbacks and learn what makes these small sporty cars so popular even decades later uh sir phrasing um let's see what has maximum handling that's the 5.4 was there a 5.4 or just a 5 was for the 1984 honda civic For only 46,000 credits. Really breaking the bank here. Alright, let's see what kind of interesting designs I might be able to find. Student driver? I, I feel like that's the most accurate, actually. Xbox anime. Different anime? Honestly, I'm going to go with this one because I feel like it um, perfectly encapsulates whatever the hell it is I'm trying to do here, other than just play the game. It's kind of a dumb design. But it is very reflective of me playing this game, so I fi figure... I might as well go with it. I've probably driven more in Halo than I have in Forza. Actually, that's not true. I have played probably more Forza than Halo. But I've probably driven more in in uh, non-simulation arcade style racers than in something like this. Which, all right. First race doesn't necessarily look like it has too many. Uh, corners to worry about. And I didn't bother to see where the first cor uh, turn takes me. It is to the right and it is relatively sharp. And yeah, max speed of about 100 miles per hour. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Not sorry. That was one of the slowest just kind of push arounds uh, that I think I've done. Most, most car wrecks tend to happen pretty quickly on this course. Yep, and, and now this is my speed, really. Although, to be honest, like, I'm only kind of driving a little bit faster than I drive on the expressway, so... So now I'm kind of, by choosing a slower paced race, even though it's easier for me to 
uh, to conceptualize. Um, it does mean I'm losing the fantasy of this game. And the fantasy is driving super-powered Porsches that you can't possibly afford at breakneck speeds with no risk of life or of uh, financial loss. Now, I'm not going to be able to get fast enough to pass them, this guy this corner. But maybe soon. Not this one either. Maybe the next one, I think. No. This one. This is the one. Okay, that could have gotten a gone a lot worse. Um, unfortunately, the first place... Uh, Racer is way ahead. How did he get so far ahead? Is my question. And clean driving. Is probably the answer to whatever it would take to actually catch up with him. But I only have one more lap to do so. And I, so I don't necessarily think I'm going to be able to accomplish that, but as we've discussed earlier, I don't actually need to place first in order to win. All right, that was actually a pretty solid turn, even though Forza did not respect it. I, I will still call it out. And see, that's the interesting thing about at least maintaining the brake line. Because even though it's like you've got those yellow arrows saying, hey, you probably should slow down. Um, there's a lot of different... Uh, manners for me to do so. Okay, I should be able to pass this guy up very soon. Not like that. Ah, maybe not soon enough. Excellent. Down to the wire. Wow. All right. Now on to race two out of six in my slow, slow car in a very basic looking track. Uh, first turn is to the right. Yeah, a very basic looking track, short race, uh, short lap distance. And the first turn should be hitting pretty quickly.
Just a little bit of a pile up here. Nothing too terrible. And we're out in front pretty, pretty well. Um, third place, second, first aren't that far ahead. Excuse me. Don't mind me at all. Not a particularly good turn. But luckily, I believe I have a car that has a little bit better acceleration. I don't seemingly better top speed, but it also could be uh, dependent on driver tar difficulty. That one I don't actually know how much driver tar difficulty actually affects the usage of... Uh, affects the top speed of the vehicle. Like, if you have a higher difficulty, does that mean that... Um, the car is going to be more likely to be at its top speed versus if you're facing against drivers with a lower difficulty. Um, are they still going to be pushing it down straightaways? Or are they going to be holding back? Either way, we're in first. And we've got four laps to go. Which seems like it would be a little bit longer, but this is definitely a very short track. Not too much going on for it. It's got like that little, it's got a bit of a sharp turn towards the beginning. And then one more sharp turn right after it. But otherwise, it's fairly smooth sailing from then on. Like, even this left turn, you don't really need to slow down for. It's just both of those right turns. And then, like, there's a loop at the end that should... that could present a problem, because by that point, you're going to be going at your max speed. But I suppose at that point, it also depends on what max speed you're going at. Like, this thing is just barely cracking 100. Like, I don't really have to worry about dropping that much or, um, in order to make that turn. So yeah, it's an uncomplicated track for a simple man, such as myself. A little bit too wide on that turn. But I think that kind of also goes towards my treatment of the uh, brake line. Is the brake line I look as to like a nice cheat so I know, okay, there's a turn here and I probably should be slowing down. Um, but there's also the realization that it's not exactly telling me how to slow down. And I usually, when I actually plan ahead, uh, lightly tap the brakes towards the beginning of the turn, uh, remove brake and acceleration, and then press on the acceleration as I go around the turn. Um, if I'm not planning ahead and I'm just being dumb, which usually occur, or if I'm trying to push it a little bit too hard in an attempt to overtake some car in front of me, then I'm using both the brakes and the handbrakes, but clearly that is an emergency situation. I don't know if that's an emergency situation I should be avoiding. Like, would consistent speed be better off for me rather than a burst of acceleration? Probably the consistent speed would be better off, because you're, you don't have to worry about building up your uh, your speed to whatever you're at. And with a slower car like this, 
going from 0 to 60 uh, takes a lot longer than going from 60 to 100. Or at the very least, um, even if it takes the same amount of time, I'm, uh, you're going to go a farther distance if you're already at 60 versus going all the way down. Either way, second race is done. All right, what have we got for the third race? Um, yeah, let's get the Challenger. Always go for the car. Oh yeah, this one. This is the one with the uh, bridge. I like this one. Not terribly complex, but it does have its shifts in uh, its shifts in curves that require a little bit of attention. And of course, oh, I can actually see the turn ahead of us. It's uh, shifting a little bit to the right. Best starts. But that's okay. We can still pick up some places. We're not fully out of it yet. Though definitely everybody uh, just kind of took off from the line. I say take off from the line, despite the fact that everybody's already going when the race starts. Um, like, it began as a very competitive race. And unfortunately, everybody seems to be getting farther from me rather than closer. which I do not appreciate. They are supposed to be doing the opposite of this. Which, unfortunately, it also leads to the mindset that I need to be pushing my car a little bit harder, hopefully, to make up this distance that does not seem to be turning in my favor. Excuse me, thank you. Go. Almost past. This guy's got out here with his car. He's got rust all over the frame. Somehow still has a 10 second engine under there. Yes, I watched Fast and Furious Part 1 years ago. That first place guy, though, he's way ahead of the pack. Uh, 
I disapprove of that because it should be me. Alright, I'll almost gained and lost, but it looks like I might have just gained the second place position and not lost it, as long as I pay attention to the road. Although with less than a lap to go, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up with the first place driver. Even with perfect turns. Yeah, I, d I just don't know if... I don't think there's enough... Like, if there was one more lap to the race, a lap four, then I would probably say that I could but it's definitely not a guarantee. I mean, there's potential, but... Uh... Nope, not with that terrible turn. I could rewind, but so far I've gone this entire set without rewinding once. So I'm going to have to settle with second. All right. What are we on? Uh, race four out of six, I think. Yes. And it's a sunny day. Fairly simple, again, a fairly simple track. Nothing too exciting. Not too many dramatic curves or hairpin turns. A lot of just gentle shifts. There's looks like there's one trickier tr uh, turn towards the end of the lap. I spend way too much time uh, smashing into that one car. To worry about passing any of them. No, 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 no. There we go. Did not spin out, which um, surprises me a little bit. All right, fifth place. I've got four places to go. Oh, I can probably pass you pretty soon. All right, four places to go. in two laps. In theory, that's possible, although, like, the third place driver is directly in front of me, the second place driver is a little bit farther ahead. Wow. I was hoping I would be able to get through this whole set without rewinding, but I clearly pushed that a little bit Too hard. In hoping that I was going to accomplish both um, a really, really fast turn while also overtaking, while also catching up to the next driver. 
when I really should just be focused on clean driving. And that there's... And there's a limit to what a car can do at high speeds, even as high as these hot hatchbacks can muster. All right. Third lap coming up. One driver left ahead. I should be able to pass them by, maybe even with the first, before the first turn. See, that was much better. That is what I should have done the last time in almost the exact same uh, scenario. But, now I'm in first. Oh, I am way ahead, actually. Even if my split time is slightly down. Just have to finish this last. Like, this turn isn't actually that bad because it really sets you up um, for the last leg of the lap. Like, this first turn in the, in the track actually is the trickiest because it's, it's a little bit more of a pinch. Alright, on to track five of six. Where are we? Uh, we're at the inevitable uh, rainy uh, race. The inevitable bad weather always seems to occur at least once per set of tracks. Short track though, 1.7 miles. And first turn is to the right. I hope these guys don't mind a student driver on the track. Ah, no. <laughs> this is... This is the worst. That was awful. And now, like... Oh my gosh. That's what you get for holding me back, other car. But oh my gosh, that was a terrible start. Just a big old car sandwich going on there. All right, shoved my way up into fifth place. And fourth place, maybe? Pretty quickly? You don't mind? He doesn't mind. Good. It's very kind of him. And then third, second is not too far away. First is a little bit farther. Away. 
second. I Just because I said first was farther away doesn't mean you have permission to drive farther away from me. I wonder if puddles just kind of randomly appear on the map. So there's no real way to, for you to kind of predict where puddles will appear. You just kind of have to... ...react accordingly. I gotta say, that this guy did a pretty good job of recovering from going off-road. I would probably be spinning around, facing the wrong way, suddenly drunk for no particularly good reason. You're like... And just unable to recover. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to chase down the first place driver. I think they might be out of my reach. Whip, wrong button. Oh my gosh. People. Just because I said I wasn't going to be able to catch up with the first place driver does not mean that you all have uh, permission to catch up with me. And yeah, uh, that little uh, stint with that other car has definitely ruined my split time for this lap. And has definitely allowed that first place driver to basically become unattainable. Everybody's just fighting over second place at this point. But they'll have to pry it from my cold, dead fingers. All right, one more race to go. So far, so good. I think I actually might still hit uh, first place in the podium because the person who was second place hasn't really been very consistent. Um, ooh, a nice nighttime race. To finish off the set. With a short track, only 1.27 miles, I did not bother to check what turn, what direction the first turn. It's to the left. A little bit of a sharp turn, a little bit of an odd one because it's a left and immediate right. No Forza, I do not need to rewind any of that. That was as good as it's going to get. Including that. Also, I've got to say, like... The, seeing the lights reflect off of the rear windshield, very nice. That was a brake and handbrake situation. 
and it worked. Because now I'm in first place. And I think this kind of reinforces kind of one of the arguments that I've made earlier about myself and my lack of skill. Is that, like, I am generally better at lower speeds. Once you go over, like, 100 miles per hour, like, let's say your maximum speed lies in, like, the 125 to 150 mile per hour range, then my control starts to fall apart. But I think also, like, these lower speeds have a bit of bigger margin for error. Whereas, once you start racing at that 150 mile marker, um, that margin for error drops. And because that margin for error drops, I slide way off-road. But, that means that these slower cars make for, at the very least, decent practice. So you've got an idea how, of how it works, but you do have to eventually um, move up to move up to the faster cars. You're never going to become a better racer if you only drive hatchbacks and trucks, unless you want that to be your thing. But the fantasy of the race, the fantasy of the simulation is that you'll be driving, like, there is no fantasy towards driving a 1984 Honda Civic on a racetrack. I could buy a 1984 Honda Civic. I cannot buy a Porsche. But, with great power comes great responsibility. And I'm generally not the most responsible person to be put into a driver's seat of a Porsche just yet. Yeah, a perfect turn. If it says so, I'm not going to argue with it. Anyway, let's just finish this last straightaway, and this set is done. Another trip to the podium. Fantastic work. Thank you. I tried my best. In the meantime, got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.